Sir, hope you're well. So we're doing a reconduct of Hendrix cable. Hendrix cable, spacer cable, uh, is insulated primary cable. Um, doing a, you know, a full run reconduct. I thought it would be cool to show you guys. I uh, haven't found it yet on, uh, you know, on here. So just going to go through some of the steps and the process of uh, installing spacer cable. I hope you enjoy it. If you don't, comment down below. If you do, comment down below. Here we go. So we're pulling in um, half inch messenger right now. Take a look, that's our bull rope. And behind the bull rope is half inch messenger. This is about 2,800 feet. This pull, not too big. There's our wire. Pull it. And there it goes through the roller. Beautiful. Well, everything's in hunter blocks, German Riley's. All right, so you can see there's a fair amount of turns up this road. So basically these are called E-brackets. Had to remove uh, the Sherman Riley or hunter block. So this is gonna be its permanent home, its permanent fixture. Uh, it's not 100% just yet. So the next step after all our turn poles are set up like this, and then we're gonna set our uh, messenger. We're gonna dynamiter it to 3,000 pounds and then hang our rollers. Half inch messenger uh, is sagged. Those are three shiv rollers, our spider. We call it spider. Uh, it's a pretty strong rope. Is gonna go all the way to uh, the pull inside and our drum which will get put on a capstan so that's basically it for right now fixing the pull wire we got our bull rope in and had to set up on all these poles through here basically pretty wicked angle it's ping ponging across the street bing 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 we had to add a second roller to bisect this angle Kind of soften it up it's pulling on it pretty hard so we'll see how this goes this is called the gator block you see all three conductors behind it and the one that we should be using is more of like an airplane style like this and it's fucking causing nothing but nightmares going through these blocks absolute nightmare so now we're leapfrogging uh the trucks to get them to go through these rollers. Watch. Well, oh, that that one that one went smooth, thankfully. Now it's going into the turn. You see all three conductors. This is 477. This is insulated wire. Uh, I believe it's up to 15,000 volts. So one thing I wanted to point out on the gator block, those tails that are hanging. If those tails were not there hanging, the block would want to rotate 360 degrees. So those tails basically keep everything nice and flat. Took the rollers out, three shift rollers. In order to sag this, because it's bouncing from one corner of the street to the other, we've got to run all the slack that way. There's a measurement in the spec for Hendrix cable. Uh, flat Stanley is set up mid-span we're gonna measure from the bottom of the messenger to center phase, which is the bottom phase right here. So it would technically it'd be A to the field, C to the road, and B on the bottom. So he's gonna measure, I'm gonna take slack out of that phase. He's gotta have 18 inches from the messenger to the center of the phase. Here we go. We got all the slack out of the rollers. Our slackies are taken up. Flat Stanley is bouncing the wire, taking his measurement. You like it? Yeah. There it is, tight in. All right, there's our spacer. Now I could reach that spacer right there, well, that roller right there. And you might say to yourself, how do you know where to get all the rollers and they're all even? If you look on the ground, you see spray painted marks. Every 30 feet, there's a white line and that correlates with the roller. And each roller gets a spacer. 
All right, guys, this is it. All the spaces are in. It's a nice tight configuration. Great for uh, wooded areas such as this. She came out really good. Yeah, it came out really good. And you can see it's bouncing. That's where we started the pull, where the trucks are. But uh, quite, quite a bit of a rodeo. Sag looks mint because we had to sag it from pole to pole. So I don't know if y'all like seeing this, but it's pretty neat summing up in a nutshell doing a wire pull, especially like this. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section.